because um, apparently the microphone on my fo- on my phone isn't working. So I'm using a, a microphone on my headphone set. So I'm just going to have to do some some uh, handheld here. So you'll please excuse that. But you can see that I'm I'm fully kitted out. So uh, just imagine my face as I do this. Uh, I've got two pieces <coughs> of stock here. I've got some Luan. I've got some Masonite. I'm going to apply a couple different coats. <coughs> of uh, a base coat. I'm going to do a, a yellow one with like a bit of the gold over it. Uh, and I'm going to do just this sort of um, gold by itself with maybe a few streaks of yellow on it. Uh, so that's what you're going to see there. I'm going to apply those to, to these just with, um, you know, an old an old roller. Uh, it's black, but it, it's, it's fine. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and I'll show you the results of that. So you can see I've got two different uh, tones. This one I did like a little more on, just did some drops and dragged a brush through it just to give it a little base texture underneath it. You really probably wouldn't see it that much. Um, this one's just kind of a flat sort of gold base with just a little bit of yellow. It's just on masonite, and if I, I didn't even prime this masonite, uh, but if I had it would have probably been a little more rich tone. Uh, while those dry though, I'm going to mix a glaze out of this brown to be the top coat. Um, I forget the exact color, but it is, let's see, uh, Western Brown. Western Brown. It's just a commercial paint, just uh, a Valspar paint from Lowe's. Um, but I could do it, you know, with one of the Roscoe paints if I wanted to. All right, so I'm going to mix that. I'm going to do like. Uh, I'm going to start with like one part paint and like two parts glaze and maybe uh, two parts water or so, which I think was about what we did um, initially. I may use a little bit less water uh, after I do the paint and glaze just to see what it looks like. Maybe do a little more glaze than water to keep it thick. So I've got a glaze here. I think the one that I mixed may be a little little too thick, but that's that's okay. Um, I'm going to use it anyway. Um, I'd rather you see the stuff <coughs> um, and so that it's visible on the on the video more than having it be completely. My roller's getting kind of old, um, but I'm trying not to use new stuff just for this display. So <coughs> I'm going to apply a coat of this glaze. Uh, to my Luon. This is my Luon. I'll, I'll do the Masonite. Uh, the larger graining tool. And I'm just going to do some gentle rocking as, as we go forward and back with this. And there's, you can see the wood pattern. And I'm going to try to make sure that I don't do too much movement. Uh, each time because then it'll be kind of repetitive. So it's really just a little bit and we want it not to match up. Pretty good. I've got a, I've got a good base there for a wood look and I'm just going to take, I don't have my, my favorite whisk broom, but I do have a shop broom right here that I've used for paint before. And I'm just going to lightly, this glaze is going to dry, dry fast, so I'm just going to drag just a little bit through there, just to give it, just to fuzz out the uh, the graining tool a bit, so that it's not uh, doesn't look perfect in you know, brush. But that's a good start. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit before I do a top coat. All right, so last coat. This is the one that's gonna be for a floor. I'm just gonna do a really light coat of this glaze and brush through it. Hopefully it's not too yellowy. And I'm just going to do this just to smooth it. I'm going to lay it really flat. I can also, if I want to be a little faster, I can do the same thing and use my whisky brush. It's not really whisky, 
it's similar to a whisk it doesn't have whiskey on it but that just kind of fuzzes it out you know where i've got like big splashes of of under color that i don't want to see i can hit that just with a little light brushing and so when that glaze dries we'll start to see that pattern come back through but it'll just be a little more fuzzed out and i can bring the i can do the uh line painting after that I, sim similarly i'll probably do when i do the line painting i'll probably do like a uh an overcoat of of just clear glaze so that it all kind of blends together um i'm not i don't know that i'm going to do that today because this will need a little time to dry <laughs> 